A few months ago, President Trump called into an event where Michael Flynn was appearing and said, we want to bring you back. Trump looks like he's headed back to the White House. Is he going to bring Michael Flynn with him? We're going to ask Michael Flynn right now. I pulled a quote from last fall when it was reported that President Trump called into an event that you were involved in, and Trump is reported to have said, we're going to bring you back, meaning when Trump gets back to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, he's going to make a phone call to General Michael Flynn. Have there been discussions about you joining the administration after November when Trump returns to the White House? Yeah, there's a, there's all kinds of discussions and rumors and and, uh, and and actions going on all over the all over the world, right? I I, I serve this country, and I decided, thinking that I was going to continue to help the country, I decided that I wanted to continue to serve after I left the left the army, right? So I left the army, and I I started a you know a second life, and I was asked by different people, and it, and and I was. I, I was honored to be able to serve the country in, in other capacities. That's sort of who I am. And I, I'm, I feel blessed and I feel very well prepared to do, uh, you know, to do the kinds of jobs that I know I'm very capable of doing. One of which was the national security advisor for President Trump. So, um, so can, you give, can you give us an answer or a hint? Are you gonna go well, back, Paul? I, I, I would I would go back in if I if I were asked, I would go back in. And and I think that Trump and I, we have we have a great relationship. What capacity I don't know. You know, what capacity I don't know. And I'll I'll leave it at that because there's a lot of unknowns right now. But I I will serve this country to help our country because our country needs, you know, needs experienced people who have the the knowledge, the expertise, and frankly, the scar tissue to be able to sit in a in a and you know in a in a in a job somewhere or or maybe in a bigger role and really really help the country get off of our knees because I feel like we're on our knees right now because we have this feckless leadership that's leading our country, one of whom can't even finish a complete sentence or climb three stairs.